what came across really strongly was that a lot of nurses and midwives don't know how to ask. And this animation is called It's Your Job to Ask. Different kinds of nurses do different kinds of roles. But we all have an obligation to speak to women who could be at risk from FGM. Female genital mutilation varies around the world, but it's always painful, unnecessary, and likely to impact on a girl's well-being. From affecting gynaecological and reproductive health issues, to triggering psychological distress, depression, and relationship problems in the short and long term, any kind of care can be affected, and every kind of nurse needs to be aware. FGM is mainly practiced in the Middle East, Indonesia and Africa, but it does happen behind closed doors in the UK too. Young girls who are from, or who have a mother or father from one of these countries could be at risk, and women from there of any age may have experienced FGM as a child. So if you're concerned about FGM, the law says it's your job to ask. But asking isn't easy, so here are some things to bear in mind. First of all, ensure a private setting and establish a rapport to put them at ease. Acknowledge that it's a sensitive issue. Watch out for signs of coercion from parents or partners. And, if you need an interpreter, make sure it's not someone who has influence over them or from within their community. Consider your language. Choose your words carefully. Don't make assumptions. This could be the first time they've ever been asked. Try not to confuse or embarrass her. Give her time to talk. And importantly, make notes. If you think that someone is at risk, you should follow the standard safeguarding pathway. You're not talking about a body part, you're talking to a whole person, and you can help them even more by offering a referral to a community group for support, clinical intervention, or other services. Someone who is not that different from you. So don't forget, it's your job to ask.